what's up what's happening what is popping what's going on you guys i just want to come on here and tell y'all what kind of time i'm on when it comes to the eagles right now let me tell y'all what let me tell y'all what kind of time i'm on okay we have two new coordinators offensive coordinator defensive coordinator at the end of the day i feel like the eagles made the best decision there could be there's going to be flaws there's going to be things that we don't like or agree on in any decision but i think that the eagles checked the the biggest boxes i believe were checked we got two coordinators who are experienced, two coordinators who are respected. Okay, that was the and we moved quick. Remember last season we were pussyfooting around, waiting forever to sign a defensive coordinator to officially name Brian Johnson as offensive coordinator. The Eagles are learning from their mistakes. They're moving fast, so we can get the free agents in here. We can get the draft players in here that will maximize the talent that Kellen and that Vic needs. And we got two people who are experienced. So, there's never going to be a perfect candidate. All the perfect candidates already have jobs. The perfect candidates aren't looking for jobs. The perfect candidates are already locked up with the team. So, no matter who we sign, no matter who we um, who we name offensive or defensive coordinators, it's always going to be some negatives. And if, if Kellen Moore's biggest negative is that he was a little boy in the past, you know... We can look past it. Once we get him in that good old Kelly Green, once we get him in that good old big bird on the beanie, new word mark, you know what I'm saying? Once we get him in that midnight green drip, we're going to forget all about them days where Kelly had that big old star on his chest. We're going to forget about that. Plus, when it comes to Kelly Moore, we know in the past when he was with Dallas, Kelly Moore had um, multiple years where Dallas was in the top five offense, top 10 offense, number one offense, Dallas was in the past. Now, people want to complain and say he didn't run the ball, but at the end of the day, Zeke Elliott had multiple years where he was over 1,000 yards under Kellen Moore. So, somebody running. You know what I'm saying? There's some yards on the ground there okay um also we know that he is going to get wide receivers open we know he is somebody who really caters to wide um receivers really great if you go and look at um keenan allen's route tree and route chart and catch chart you can just see how Kellen moore really utilizes the entire field um when it comes to his wide receivers so we know that this is a guy that's going to make aj brown happy this is a guy that's going to make Devonte smith happy um again there's no perfect candidate there's never going to be a perfect candidate all the perfect candidates have jobs already okay so at the end of the day we just have to see what these teams do what these core i mean what these coordinators do because when the press conference comes vic and kellen are going to sit in that press conference and they're going to say all the right things they're going to say everything we want to hear just like sean desai last season sean desai had us all fired up and ready to go from the press conference i'm not paying too much attention to press conferences when I'm telling y'all what kind of time I'm on, I'm on positivity time, but I'm also on, I'm going to wait till you show me time. Because the press conferences, they're going to say whatever they need to say. Y'all know when we go in our job interviews, we say what? what? What's supposed to be said? Yeah, I work hard. I'm the hardest worker in the room. I get here early. I stay here late. Yada, 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 yada. I'm a great team player. All that. We say whatever she need to be said. Just like Sean Desai did. So when the press conferences come, honestly, whatever they say in the press conference is going in one ear and out the other year but we will see in september what they really are about we'll see in september um right now i'm not on speculation time i'm not on the time to be like oh this is what we could look like under kelly moore this is what we could look like under vic oh boom 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 i'm not speculating y'all because at the end of the day i'm not sure <laughs> I just want to wait and see what happens. I want to wait until September and see what happens. It's time for us to look at free agency. It's time for us to look at the draft. Actual action items. Actual action items. Draft time. Free agency time. What Kellen Moore is going to look like. What Jalen is going to look like. What Vic is going to look like. That will, that will speak for itself in September. The only thing we can know and control right now is free agency of the draft. So that's what type of time I'm on. That's what type of time I'm on. Let me know.